Hey there, movie buffs. Welcome back to the Sadistic Penguin Studios. Today we're tackling the wild ride that is Furiosa, the prequel to Mad Max's Fury Road. Spoiler free, of course. So buckle up and let's hit the wastelands. All right, let's start with plot. We follow a younger Furiosa, played by Anna Taylor-Joy. Picture this, it's like Fury Road, but with a slightly less angry Charlize Theron and a lot more backstory. She's navigating the wasteland, kicking ass and taking names. But don't worry, she still has that killer stare that could probably melt the ice caps. The action in this movie is bananas. George Miller really knows how to throw a car chase party and everyone's invited, except maybe Logic. Logic was left in the dust somewhere around the mile marker 57. Cars are flying, explosions are happening every 5 seconds, and I'm pretty sure I saw a guy playing an electric guitar that shoots flames. Wait, no, that was just my imagination. Or was it? Anna Taylor Joy absolutely crushes it as Furiosa. She's like if Hermione Granger decided to quit magic and start lifting weights. She's intense, she's fierce, and she could probably take down a small army with just her glare. Chris Hemsworth also shows up, and let's just say Thor would not be proud of the new desert warrior persona. You flip too hard, damn it! He's laughable and also psychotic. Visually, Furiosa is stunning. The wasteland has never looked so beautifully desolate. It's like a Bob Ross painting, if Bob Ross was really into rusty metal and sandstorms or accidents. We don't, we don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. And the sound design, top notch. My ears are still ringing from all the explosions, but in a good way. Overall, Furiosa is a fantastic addition to the Mad Max saga. It's a chaotic adrenaline fueled joyride that leaves you wanting more. And if you love Fury Road, you'll feel right at home here. Just remember to bring some earplugs and maybe a seatbelt. The film, in my opinion, is probably the second best Mad Max film, right behind Fury Road, but it's a close neck and neck race. This film is struggling a little bit at the box office, and hopefully it gets a little surge as Miller does have a new script for the Fury Road sequel involving Mad Max. Hopefully that gets made, but you never know. Anyway, that's all for today's review. Let me know in the comments if you're ready to dive into the wasteland of Furiosa. And if you enjoyed this review, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep your engines revving and your popcorn popping.